Chapter 14 You are the children of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. For you are a holy people to the Lord your God, and the Lord has chosen you to be a people for His own possession, above all peoples who are on the face of the earth. You shall not eat any abominable thing. These are the animals which you may eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the gazelle, and the roebuck, and the wild goat, and the ibex, and the antelope, and the chamois. Every animal that parts the hoof, and has the hoof cloven in two, and chews the cud among the animals, that you may eat. Nevertheless, these you shall not eat of them that chew the cud, or of those that have the hoof cloven, the camel and the hare and the rabbit, because they chew the cud, but don't part the hoof, they are unclean to you. The pig, because it has a split hoof, but doesn't chew the cud, is unclean to you. Of their flesh you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch. These you may eat of all that are in the waters. Whatever has fins and scales you may eat, and whatever doesn't have fins and scales you shall not eat. It is unclean to you. Of all clean birds you may eat, but these are they of which you shall not eat, the eagle and the gear eagle and the osprey and the red kite and the falcon and the kite after its kind and every raven after its kind and the ostrich and the night hawk and the sea mew and the hawk after its kind the little owl and the great owl and the horned owl and the pelican and the vulture and the cormorant and the stork and the heron after its kind and the hoopoe and the bat all winged creeping things are unclean to you they shall not be eaten of all clean birds you may eat you shall not eat of anything that dies of itself you may give it to the foreigner living among you who is within your gates that he may eat it or you may sell it to a foreigner for you are a holy people to the lord your god you shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk. You shall surely tithe all the increase of your seed, that which comes forth from the field year by year. You shall eat before the Lord your God, in the place which he shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, the tithe of your grain, of your new wine and of your oil, and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock, that you may learn to fear the Lord your God always. If the way be too long for you, so that you are not able to carry it, because the place is too far from you, which the Lord your God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord your God shall bless you. Then shall you turn it into money, and bind up the money in your hand, and shall go to the place which the Lord your God shall choose. And you shall bestow the money for whatever your soul desires, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatever your soul asks of you. And you shall eat there before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice, you and your household. The Levite who is within your gates, you shall not forsake him, for he has no portion nor inheritance with you. At the end of every three years you shall bring forth all the tithe of your increase in the same year, and shall lay it up within your gates. And the Levite, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you, and the foreigner living among you, and the fatherless, and the widow who are within your gates shall come and eat and be satisfied that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hand which you do.